Hey everybody, DM Jim here, and welcome to another episode of Game Terrain Engineering. We're just about a week or so out from the release of Star Wars Legion, uh, the new war game from Fantasy Flight, and I got a chance today to go to my local gaming store. They got a couple advanced copies of the game, and they had it out for people to look at, and I'm going to talk while I show you some of the photos that I took while I was there. Everything looks good. The miniatures look incredible. Um, the game just looks really fun. Uh, one thing I want to point out right here, these are called the Imperial Bunkers. They're, you know, obstacles that you can place to block line of sight or to give the um, to give your your uh, soldiers cover. Okay? Now the first thing that jumped out at me when I first saw these bunkers was I loved them. I, I like the look of them. And I even made some, and I'll put a link to the video right here. Uh, these are Imperial bunkers, not Rebel. And I am planning on playing the Rebel side as much as possible. So in this video, this will be my last video, I think, before, last Star Wars video before the, uh, the game is released. I wanted to create some scatter terrain to give the Rebels something to hide behind. Now, when I think of the Rebels, I think of them always on the move. You know, they're they're never in one place for too long. Think of the Rebel base on Hoth or the Rebel base on the Yavin Moon. You know, they're, they're, they're sort of living out of boxes, right? Well, in the second movie, Empire Strikes Back, we saw these um, cargo ships taking off from Hoth. And, Basically, the cargo ship is two shells that come together, and inside are all these like you know, cargo pods, sort of like a, sort of like the trailers you see the eighteen wheelers hauling. So I got some close up views of those cargo pods, and I thought, you know, that's what you would find sitting around rebel bases or that or anywhere the rebels were. They're probably living out of cargo pods. So in this episode, I am going to show you a very simple way to make some rebel cargo pods. Now the cargo pods can be used by anybody, smugglers, empire, whatever. I'm calling these the rebel rebel uh, cargo pods because the Legion's game already comes with bunkers, uh, little, little uh, walls for the stormtroopers to hide behind. So let's give the rebels something to hide behind. Now it's very possible that down the road they may release some sort of terrain for the rebels, but uh, it's not in the core set and I haven't seen anything. So let me take you to the table and show you how to make really, really fast, no 3D printer required, really, really fast Rebel Cargo Pods. Okay, you're going to want to start out with half inch foam, cut them in three inch by two inch rectangles, and then glue them in a sandwich. You're going to take a, a knife or a hot wire cutter and you're going to cut angles, as you see here, from the, um, from the center. That center strip is one inch, okay? So you can just, on the top piece, you can just measure one inch in and one inch from the left and right and, uh, and cut from there on the top and bottom. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do, it's not required is, I screwed in three one and a half inch, actually it's about one inch screws into the bottom just for ballast and to give it some heft. You do not have to do this part. The final thing is uh, cut some strips one inch wide by seven inches long and you'll glue them all around the pod and this will cover the screws as well. Uh, you'll want to add some details, you know, circles and raised shapes and things to give it a Star Wars-y look. Here you can see I added a, a bead and some, some rectangles of various sizes. If you're going to make one of these, you might as well make a bunch. I went ahead and made uh, nine total. You can see the finished one in the upper left before it's painted. Here's some other, uh, here's a close up. I used a mix of circles and weird shapes for the one on the bottom there. And uh, I haven't added the screws or the paper on the top eight yet. So here I am. I decided to use hot glue after putting the screws in. You don't have to screw them in. Just push them down with your finger. They go right in. And I used hot glue to wrap it all the way around. I used Mod Podge mixed with some black paint to strengthen it. You do not have to do this, but Jeremy from Black Magic Craft, he's the originator of this. It definitely makes it stronger. And then give it a coat of black paint before you'll choose the actual color. 
For this one, I chose an aquamarine blue, but I also did them in a variety of colors. All right, so this is the one I showed you how I made. I'll take some close-up pictures so you can see. It's just a standard cargo pod. Uh, the unusual shape of it came from an image I saw of the container ship and some of these things that were you know, wedged up in it. Now, I also made them in different colors. Here's a red one, sort of a reddish color, right? You'll notice on some of them, I've given them these, this detail work. It's just, you know, generic Star Wars-y looking, you know, blocks attached to things to make it look, you know, to give it three-dimensional uh, aspect. Uh, blue one, uh, let's see, blue, gray, green, and red right there. Okay, they're nothing fancy and they definitely are not new looking. I, I purposefully, I painted them black, okay? And then I used a wet paintbrush with paint to apply it. There's, you can still see the black, actually the wash is still a little wet, but um, the black still shows through and then when I added the wash, which was dirty paint water, that's my secret, <laughs> dirty paint water, um, these things actually look pretty darn good. Uh, they they have a used rebel, you know, beat up uh, look to them. Again, my reason for doing this was simple. The rebels do not have their own uh, uh, terrain to hide behind, like the imperial bunkers. These these uh, I'll, I'll put a picture up right here. That's the imperial bunkers. Uh, the core kit comes with like six of those or eight of those. I can't remember but nothing, nothing that's like Rebel. Uh, so I decided the Rebels would probably have a lot of these cargo containers around. These would be great for hiding behind, breaking up line of sight, giving partial cover, that kind of thing. The other thing they do uh, is they stack. Uh, if you put two like this, you know, like that, uh, a third one sits right up on it like that. So you can pile them up uh, higher than normal, turn them sideways. They, they're, they have screws in the bottom, okay? Uh, three, I put three screws in the bottom so that they, you know, so that when they tip, they want they return to, to flat, okay? Um, this one is not exceedingly difficult, as you can tell from the video. They are not very pretty. I mean, that's they're serving their purpose. They're supposed to be beat up uh, cargo pods for the tabletop. But again, very easy to make. Half inch foam. Use your use your scrap foam, which is what I did. I had a lot of scrap pieces, you know, that were this big. Cut them three inches by two inches. Make a sandwich three layers high. One, two, three. Glue them together. When the glue dries, chop them at that angle with a one inch. Uh, this this distance right here on top is one inch. So you'll have uh, one inch, one inch, and one inch. Just chop them at an angle. Try to be symmetrical if you can, like that. Wrap it with uh, a piece of cardstock. Um, about seven inches will go all the way around. And then add the detail work and paint it up ugly. Give it a wash. It's ready to go for your table. Anyway, uh, Star Wars Legion comes out March 22nd. I went today and got to see uh, the game laid out as a demo. And I cannot wait to get my uh, miniatures. It gets painted. I'm going to choose the Rebel side. A lot of the people I know are choosing Empire, which is fine. I'll have lots of opponents. Um, but uh, definitely between now and March 22nd, I've got about a week and a half, gonna be printing and making a lot more Star Wars terrain. Uh, when, when I go in to play at my local store, they have a lot of Star Wars terrain, but if there's a lot of players, it's probably gonna be, gonna be sparse. So I'll have my own, and I uh, won't have to worry about uh, having, not having something to hide behind. Anyway, this is DM Jim. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode.